So this video is about using calculations as the first essential skill in pre-AP chemistry involving calculations with Planck's constant, speed of light, wavelength, and frequency. And we're going to just use these problems to illustrate this. The question is, what is the energy of a quantum of light with frequency of 7.39 times 10 to the 14th hertz? Remember that hertz is 1 over second. Those are the units. Energy equals h, which is Planck's constant, times frequency. That's the Greek letter nu. And h, you may recall, h is equal to 6.63 uh, times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. So if we plug this in, we can just solve for e. e is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. You need to include your units in all your calculations times nu, which is 7. 0.39 times 10 to the 14th, 1 over second. That would give us an answer of 4.899, which might as well be with sig figs, 4.90 times 10 to the negative 19th. And the units for this, the seconds cancel out, leaving you with joules. Okay, so there's your answer for the first one. The second question is a little bit more complicated because it involves um, combine the two equations of E equals HV with the other equation which is C equals nu times lambda or the V times the lambda. You can combine them, you can put the since the the nu is equal to the v is equal to c over lambda, you can substitute in for the v here and you get the h times c over lambda. So now we're looking for the wavelength, which is right here. So now we're going to manipulate this equation to say that lambda is equal to h c over e. So if we do that, then we have 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds times c, which is 3.0, times 10 to the 8th meters per second, all over the energy which we just calculated, which was 4.90 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. And the answer comes out to be 4.06 times 10 to the negative 7th. And when the units, the joules cancel here, the seconds cancel there, leaving you with meters. And for the last problem here, number three, a certain red light has a wavelength of 680 nanometers. What is the frequency of the sites? So we're looking for frequency, which means we're using this equation again. And you'll notice that it says 680 nanometers. And our units for everything so far has been in meters. The speed of light, you'll remember we had up here, is the 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters. So it has to be in meters. So how do we convert nanometers to meters? Well, you may remember from the notes that 1 times 10 to the 9th nanometers are in 1 meter. So we have to first convert it. So 680 nanometers, we set up our bridge, and 1 times 10 to the 9th nanometers is equal to 1 meter, which means that our actual distance in, or our our wavelength in meters will be 6.80, well, probably just 6.8 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. Okay, so now let's plug that into our equation. So frequency is equal to 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second divided by the wavelength, 6.80 times 10 to the negative 7th meters, our frequency would be equal to 4.41 times 10 to the 14th, 1 over second. Or if you wanted to say, you could say hertz. Either one would be fine. Now, once you've finished watching this video and the other two videos, please be sure to answer the quiz questions online on Schoology.
Thank you very much. And please don't hesitate to come in to ask questions as well. Thank you.